Hey guys, welcome to another video with me. Before everything, as always, you're important, you matter, your contributions are important, and if you feel like no one else cares about you, well that's wrong because I do. Now, if you clicked on the video, you know we're gonna be breaking down a 20 bomb, but this isn't gonna be the 21 bomb that I just dropped on my channel. This is gonna be a different one. I just dropped this maybe half an hour ago, got my whole uh, recording set up and everything. So we're gonna drop right into it. This is one of my favorite drops. I have like four, four drops on this map that I really like dropping at. This one is gonna be really hot because it's just right out of the drop ship. And it's one of those places where people tend to gravitate to. I'm gonna try to land on these bins. I'm gonna completely ruin the landing. This is proof for you guys that if you completely ruin the landing, you can still drop a 20 bomb. I'm gonna go over here because I know there's a bin down here and it's right now it's my only hope of getting a gun, so. I wanna see what I get out of this bin right here. I get probably the worst possible gun I could have gotten. I get a Mozambique with a bruiser. I do discover a new little movement trick right there, so I'm pretty happy about that. But I get a Mozambique with a bruiser, and then this is already looted, so I'm not expecting much from this game at this point. But, I, I mean, it, it's worth a try, you know? So I notice these tracks, and I notice these gunshots from the top, so that means somebody's getting shot right here. I figure, why not? Let's try to shoot at this guy, see what we can do. I want to grab this thirst immediately. I notice he's got a flatline on this back, so at this point, I'm excited. This means I already have a flatline. Grab that light ammo just in case I need it. Swap my bruiser. That way I have a bruiser on my flatline and an optic on my flatline. That's going to make it a little bit, bit uh, more pleasant, better to use. Right here, I want to be careful because I hear these guys fighting on the right side, so I'm already watching it. I know they're fighting inside, so I'm not expecting them to come out. I see the one guy, and then I hear this other guy see him. Pretty easy knocks on both of them, the Valkyrie especially. I, I was just gonna like kind of creep up on that, be really cautious, so that way I was ready if one of them backed up or came out. That was exactly what needed to happen. I'm gonna grab some loot. Mainly I'm looking for ammo. I need to drop those syringes. I hear more people running over here. So I'm gonna see if I can spot one out right here. So right now I'm conscious of the Bloodhound. The Bloodhound might have told his entire team where I am. So I'm thinking about just making sure that right here I spot this guy through the door. Pretty cool right there that I got to do that. He didn't actually know where I was, and I was kind of surprised and kind of happy about that, but I took my opportunity when I got it. I noticed these tracks mean that the Octane dropped down. I see him right there. My recoil control is not going to be good enough to get him at this point because I'm not as warmed up as I'd like to be. I hear my teammate fighting some people, and I hear them rezzing my, uh, my kill from earlier. So I want to see if I can do something about this. Looking, looking for my kill being res to spot the octane out. I noticed there's a clue on that door five seconds ago, so I'm expecting him to be healing right here. Now I just follow the clues. It's going to lead me right to him. He does pop a phoenix kit, so I want to keep that in mind. I'm expecting to win that gunfight right there. It doesn't exactly go my way, so i got to be a little careful. Repeak that right here. Lifeline's dropping a drone. I'm going to do something dangerous right here. I'm going to try to heal on this drone. But if I lose this gunfight with this bloodhound, that's my 20 bomb done with. But I do luckily win it, and the drone's going to give me that extra health so I don't have to use syringes. I don't have to take more time healing. Because that time you spend healing does add up. Now I'm going to just grab some loot. It's going to be pretty good. Make sure I heal up. At some point I am going to hear somebody take the, uh... God, what is it called? Like the jump thingy. Like the... I don't know. You guys know what I'm talking about, though. Hopefully. This is like jump thingy over here. I can never remember the name of it. So I hear somebody take it. So I'm going to come over here because I'm thinking maybe they took it over there to get on high ground in some like weird way because they can take it back. I don't see them take it back. At this point, I got six kills, 14 squads left. That's like a guaranteed 20 bomb right there. So I just want to push. Make sure I ping it for my teammates so my teammates know what I'm doing. Reload my gun. Almost didn't do that. Almost had 20 bullets instead of 28, but I noticed that. Here's some guy to my left. I want to make sure I mark that for my teammates so they know it's urgent and they need to come over here. I'm going to try to beam him. Don't exactly hit all of my shots. Scan. I noticed his Valkyrie up top. This Valkyrie's distracted, so this means I can probably get a free kill onto this Valkyrie. See her drop down. I just got to hit my shots. 
I'm gonna drop down and get that thirst because the Loba right now is unidentified, but I see my teammate running towards her, so I wanna make sure I locate her as fast as possible. Her disc actually fails right here. That shit is still in the game. The, the Loba disc failing, it fails, and that's why I kill her. If her disc hadn't failed, I wouldn't have gotten that kill right there. I actually thought about clipping it for TikTok. But uh, you guys are gonna see it right here. So I need heavy ammo really bad. I ping that. My teammate pings some. I'm gonna come over here, grab some of this loot. At this point, my teammate times out, as you guys might have noticed. So from this point on, it's gonna be a duo trio. So for all of you guys who wanna drop a duo trio uh, 20 bomb, you know, like get it with your friend. That way you don't have to worry about uh, spreading your kills out amongst two people. You only spread them out amongst one. This is gonna be a great model for you guys. This is how you guys more or less wanna play it. Except, this guy's not going to be listening to my callouts, and I'm not going to be making any, really. Really, my, uh, my biggest goal right now is grabbing heavy ammo, so I'm going to be grabbing heavy ammo. He adds me at this point. He's like, God damn, bro, you're cracked. Uh, so yeah, I topped myself off with ammo. Three squads died while I was back there. That's not exactly what I wanted to see, not exactly what I hoped to see. Four squads, actually. But we're gonna keep moving. We gotta go find this next guy. And just kind of get over these rocks over here. I like to maintain this high ground and then look down and see if I can spot anybody out. I'm looking like all the way over there in the jungle at all the buildings. I'm looking for boxes. I'm looking for anything that shows a human presence here. So I'm gonna just take this zip line down. I'm not too worried about zip line noise because I don't see anybody. Didn't notice that death box actually earlier when I played the game, but I noticed it now. Notice these tracks. I want to see if I can spot anybody else out. He stops to loot, so I try and take my opportunity right there. I want to get onto this roof, because I'm thinking he's going to... If he's if he has a team, they're going to be centered around this building. So I want to hold this building and hold this stairwell. That's why I climb up here. At this point, I'm thinking he's a solo, so I actually want to encourage him to revive or to respawn his whole team. But he's not going to do that, so I am going to have to kill him because my teammate is, is getting uncomfortably close to him. My teammate follows him all the way in here. I'm going to run in front of my teammate's stream of bullets to make sure I guarantee the kill. Really BM, but, you know, sometimes during a 20 bomb, that's the kind of shit you have to do. You, you do have to do BM shit like that. I'm not always proud of it. Uh, want to switch around my light mags, and then I want to grab the heavy mag for my car. I did pick up the 301. I was just feeling the 301. I might have not even swapped it, but really glad I did because the 301 is super good. I haven't been running it this much this season, though, because it's in the crafter. I haven't been crafting as much. I usually just run with the flatline or the alternator. Uh, he stole that shield battery from me, so now he's trying to drop me shield bats. I hear people running up, and this is not a great position, so I want to try and get on this high ground so I can take a look around, spot him out, and maybe one clip one. Sometimes that climb works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you gotta stand on this pipe, get on this box, and come over here. I see this one up top. Absolutely get a handle on him right there. I wanna thirst that, make sure it doesn't drop down. My teammate has already knocked one, so that's not great for me. Scan, see where everybody is. I wanna try to thirst that for the extra damage, but I don't get it, so I'm gonna just have to one clip this guy. One clip him. Now I'm looking for light ammo, and I'm looking for maybe uh, more shield bats. Find more shield bats some point I'm going to want to heal up. So earlier I talked about how, you know, it takes time to heal up and that time is valuable time. That's time you could be spending rotating or doing other shit. So I pop that bat. I know there's a third box up top unlooted that my team probably doesn't, or my teammate probably doesn't know about. So I'm going to try to get to that box. Hopefully there's going to be a shield battery on it. I'm like 90% sure there's going to be a shield battery on it. So I'm going to grab the shield bat from this box and then I'm going to move. So right here, it's actually really interesting. I'm going to make an instinct play. I should be moving towards the ring, but I completely disregard that. And that is because usually there's a team right around here on this like uh, on this little uh, tunnel area. Even though there kind of shouldn't be, and it doesn't make sense for there to be a team here, I'm, I'm making an instinct play. It is my instinct that somebody is over here. And I hear the shots inside of here now, so I'm just like, yeah, there's definitely somebody over here. That was the right call. Not going to ring was definitely the correct call. So I want to run through here. I know they're fighting, so I want to get over there as fast as I can. Uh, take, as many of the, take as much of the kills and the damage as I can. 
I think that was a guy right there. I thought it was a guy, so I kind of aimed at it. I don't know. Just like a little subtle thing. I noticed that barricade right there, that rampart wall. So I'm thinking I want to get behind that rampart wall and maybe that'll give me good positioning. But I notice all the shots are coming from over there. So they've already probably moved from that rampart barricade and started pushing more aggressively. I noticed that guy running up there right by the wall to my right. So I'm going to try to get behind him, one clip him, and then go from there. Right now I just need to get on this, on this high ground so I can take a look around, spot everybody out. I'm going to spot multiple people out right here in fresh death boxes so they're probably going to be looting. R301 is insane. Just gonna get that one clip. Gonna get that one clip as well. Wanna come over here and pop a bat. I don't wanna push that because I don't know the status of that third guy. He could have a full purple shield and I could easily lose that. So I do wanna pop a bat. You know, no biggie. I just pop that bat and I go right for him. Spot him out. One clip him too. Notice that this fuse doesn't go down. Wanna make sure I get that thirst. Then my teammate over here is fighting somebody. So I have two options. I can spray bullets at him and hope I get him, or I can take the time to run over there and risk my teammate getting the kill. I decide to take a spray at him, you know, the guy's low, I get the spray. Right now, I'm really just looking for light ammo. I want to grab a little bit more light. I don't want to be running around with 280. I want the full 360. That does make a difference, despite what everybody, what, what anybody might tell you, really. At least in my opinion. I, I guess other people might have other opinions. But yeah, grab that. I don't really want to loot all the death boxes. I have more or less everything I could desire, except for maybe a gold helmet or a gold knockdown shield, something like that. But I, I want to move. I need to get to the ring. Right now, there's five squads with ten people left. So there's like two or th like, there's like two or three solos. Not a great spread. And especially since I see this guy go down in the kill feed right now. People are killing each other, and that's not great for me. Because right now there's 10 people left, probably 8 people left at this point because people are going to get thirsted. So I, it's going to make it a little bit more difficult for me to get this 20 bomb the more people that die. Because I still need those 5 kills and I'm also adjusting for the fact that my teammate, my random, might steal a kill or two. So I just want to find these people fighting as fast as I can. Right now there's less than 10 people left with 5 squads so I'm hoping for respawns. I checked the map. I think I just checked the map, or I'm going to check the map right here, look around for respawns. I noticed there's going to be three respawn beacons left, so I have a pretty good chance of getting at least one respawn, maybe. And that's going to help out with the 20 bomb. I What the hell is that, dude? Well, I think it's a light, but why is it there? Like, I was just looking at that like it was some weird, like, the base of a Watson pylon, but sideways? I don't know. Look around, spot those death boxes, want to look around for clues, see if there's anybody here. I don't see anyone, but I do hear shots. It's a 50-50, they could be further up to the, uh, to the northeast. I'm going to choose northwest, and I'm going to go through here. I make the right guess, I can hear them firing through this wall, they're definitely up on that high ground shooting at each other. So right now, I just want to get to them as fast as I can. All that matters right here is speed. Another one goes down, another one gets full thirsted, not what I want to see. Now that I think about it, it's the same guy that just got full thirsted, so I don't know if he got respawned or something. But I just saw him get full thirsted in the kill feed. I didn't notice that while I was playing, I was just completely tunnel visioned on getting over here as fast as I can. This is a great high ground spot right here on top of that, so I'm going to take this zip line, take a look around, and then make a decision based on what I want to do. I hear this Pathfinder running right here. I'm going to try to hit the one clip. Turns out he's the last one on the team. So I'm going to start looking around, trying to spot the teams out. I'm assuming this three-man is a team. I want to pop my ultimate and run over there and get this kill. Make sure I secure that kill and knock that other guy. But there's actually three people over there where I knocked that guy, which is really weird. So there's two teams somehow fighting. So I just want to focus this Watson, who's got his 30-30 out. He's not going to be able to defend himself as well. I absolutely destroyed him, so I want to just kick down that door, completely disregard him. Now I want to run over there and see what I can do. I know I have one guy down, so there should be two guys or one guy up here. Notice the Loba's right here, but the Loba's got good positioning. I'm not going to commit too hard to that. I'd rather just pop up into, or back up and pop a bat. Loba got some great positioning. I'm going to try to spot the Loba out because my teammates probably flushed her out and he did. Notice the Loba drops down. I'm going to drop right after her. I got the high ground right here. I'm going to see if I can get the one clip. I don't hit as many bullets as I'd like to. Loba's going to disc away. I notice this guy coming in. 
So I'm going to try to one-clip this kid. But the funny thing is, these guys are not on a team. These guys are not together. I thought they were a team. At this point, I believe they're two solos. And then the crypto team is going to EMP one guy. Like, oh, what? Why are you EMPing this solo wraith, dude? Like, that's so BM. But yeah, he's going to get EMP'd. I'm going to see if I can track him down. So the last two teams kind of know about each other at this point. Notice he hits the portal. I'm assuming he ported back to his team. And right now I'm thinking the crypto is maybe over here somewhere. Or the rest of his team is over here. So I want to come over to this building. I'm going to scan it. There's nobody in the building. So at this point I know he's solo. I'm going to take this high ground and see if I can get a one clip on him. Try and get the one clip. Not the best recoil control right now. So I'm going to just let him go. And I'm going to grab some more light ammo. And I'm going to see if I can find the other team. At this point I'm convinced he's solo. So I need to focus on the other team. I need to spot the other team out. And then make a plan of action. As to how I want to take out this other team. My teammate is going to try to chase him. But then he's going to give up and follow me. Which is great. If my teammate had gotten that solo kill. It might make my life a little bit more difficult. I heard my teammate running. I thought I was an enemy. So... Made me kind of jumpy. Right here, all the positioning is kind of bad, except, or because the ring is closing in. So I don't really know where the good positioning is going to be, so I'm kind of being hesitant about kind of where to play. I do want to see if I can spot the final team out, though. Looks like my teammate spots the final team out. I spot this guy out. Need to see if I can get a one clip onto him. I want to shoot at that Loba, but the Crypto could also peek me and catch me in a crossfire, so I need to be careful right here. I'm going to see if I can get onto that high ground. My teammate just full sends it. So I'm like, okay, we're full sending. Let's bring that energy. Right here, I need to ideally kill both people. I get to knock the Loba because the Loba's free. So now all I have to do is win the 1v1 with the Crypto. Crypto's not even expecting it. Hit the fat car one clip. So now I just pop my shield bat and wait for the last guy. He's right there. Notice I have 3,700 damage. So I'm going to back up because I actually want to farm this 4k. And I'm in a good position to farm this 4k. So I'm going to let this guy push me. I'm going to sit back. I'm going to keep healing. I hear he's got a Mastiff right here. So I know he's got an R99 and a Mastiff. So close range is basically off limits. All I'm going to be playing is the car. Or all I'm going to be playing is the R301, not the car. I cannot let this guy get close to me because one, he has an R99, which doesn't guarantee a one clip, but he has a Mastiff and that guarantees a two tap. Bloodhound's hitbox is fucking horrible, so. OTBGD3. I want to try and get a wide Spring. angle on him. I want to have distance on him, but I want to be just far enough to make sure I can get the one clip, but at the same time, like, still be able to push that or still be able to get away if he hits me too much. That R99 recoil control is. It's not that difficult, but just tracking with it with a one times at range can be really difficult. I'm trying to figure out where the hell he went right now. I'm going to pick up my teammate's banner. I thought about respawning him just to bait him back here, but... The ring's closing in. I decide not to. I hear the, the, the jump thingy again, whatever it's called. Holy shit. I see the portal over there. I was like, what the hell is this guy doing? I was actually kind of mad at this point. Because I got 3,800 damage, and I'm thinking he, like, flew away into the ring and died. Like, I already have the 20, so I'm not too mad, but I really wanted to farm this 4K. And I'm just like, what the hell did this guy do? Like, he... He might have hit, like, the... The the thing on accident, and then just, like, portaled to the left, which is what I'm thinking about. Uh, at this point, I'm just being cocky, because I have no clue where he is. But I'm thinking, maybe he ported to the left over here... Looking around for him, see if I can spot him out. I'm thinking maybe he's holding that. But, like, I don't know where he is. So I'm just thinking, am I going to have to hold him out of ring? Like, maybe he's maybe he's back down there. So I'm trying to find, like, a nice positioning, a nice head glitch to hit him off of. I actually hear him running over there, so I want to see if I can spot him out. Unfortunately, he doesn't run over that rock. I needed to hit way more shots there, but I do crack his shield. I'm going to pop my ultimate right here. Because he has 100 health, and I need 50 damage to drop this 4k. So I'm clear to push. But he does find a shield swap back there, which I did not expect and was not aware of. I'm going to try to beam him by pre-aiming him through the wall. It's not going to work out. He's going to pull out that Mastiff. 
I'm a little bit lower on health than I'd like to be, so it's just safer for me to back up and maybe push another time. I'm gonna back up, take this bat. I have ring right now. He's trapped between, like, the circle's edge and me. So I can just hold him out of ring if I need to. I'm assuming he's going over there. I see him by that rock, so I'm just like, fuck this, dude. I'm gonna find a great head glitch on ring, and I'm gonna just wait for you. Because I need to beam this kid while he's out in the open, and I can't let him cl get close to me because of that Mastiff. So I'm assuming he's going to rotate back around through ring, and that means he has to drop into this pit. So that means I can get like 50 free damage at least while he's climbing. He hears me, tries to hide in the corner, I spot him out. Want to back up, redo my spray, readjust, and I get him right here, and that's exactly what I was hoping for. I, I don't know how many shots it takes to, to kill him. I believe that did, let's see, if that was six shots, that was, that was 84 damage, so I could have hit him one more time, but I decided not to. I didn't know that at the time. I wanted to get a little bit of damage off of him, and then at this point, I'm just being cocky. I'm just kind of being a dick. Gonna wait till the ring just thirsts him, because obviously he's got a gold knockdown shield. Yeah, that was exactly what I needed to happen. I farm the 4k and the 20. I actually get to drop a 21 because I get that extra kill. You know, people might be asking, why didn't I just kill him when I had the opportunity? I did want to farm that 4k. I mean, that 4k makes a difference, especially for me, so. Well, that's going to be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching the video and for supporting my videos. I hope you guys take something away from this, from my thought process. I tried to make it as clear as I could to help you guys out. Hope you guys really understand so you guys can drop your own 4Ks and 20 bombs and know how to farm them and all that. So thank you for watching this video and goodbye from me.